Good evening and welcome to BBC News. A family of 12 from Luton who went missing after a trip to Bangladesh are said to be in Syria and have joined so-called Islamic State. A statement issued through IS and showing a new picture of the grandparents says the man and family were safer than ever. But in an exclusive interview with the BBC, a friend of one of the brothers says he would never have joined IS willingly. Our correspondent Nick Beek reports from Luton. Excited British teenagers filming their adventures on holiday in Bangladesh. But just weeks later, 19-year-old Mohammed Tafiq Hussain would apparently join IS in Syria, along with 11 other members of his family. What's he saying? He's like, oh, Nazil's getting married and he's just a bit of banter. Dude. Back home in Luton, student Nazil Ali told us he can't believe his best friend would have gone willingly to Syria, as IS have now claimed. We've been mates since high school, junior school, yeah, and he would have said bye to all, us, all of us properly. And I'm telling you, he did not know that he was going to Syria. Today, IS released photos of the family. Here, 75-year-old Mohammed Abdul Manan and his wife, Manira, who's thought to have cancer. A statement, supposedly on behalf of the family, claimed they were feeling as safe as ever in war-torn Syria and said it was outrageous to suggest the family had been coerced. Some experts believe the latest case of the Manan family could inspire others and be used as propaganda to recruit not just young fighters, but sisters and mothers too. Now we've seen two families from Britain, and I wonder if that will be a precedent that will start to inspire other families to go. It's completely plausible and feasible that that might happen. He, he wouldn't go there, like, willingly. Nazul says it makes no sense, but he now fears the worst for his friend. He's not coming back. The fact that he's ne I'm never going to see his face again, uh, I don't know what to say to him. It's we also spoke to other people here who said they too couldn't comprehend why the Manan family who used to live at this house had travelled to Syria for a new life. If lifelong friends can't spot the signs that 12 members of the same family were prepared to leave, it shows what a difficult task the authorities face as well. Nick Beek, BBC News, Luton.